All right, then everybody, this is Yara here, and I'm over here with Rudy that got 11th place at the regionals. And what deck are you playing, Rudy? Bro, Hero's best deck, always. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's had a couple of uh, showcasing of decks in this channel uh, with Hero, so he's the Hero Master. So any shout-outs you want to say before we get started? Bro, always shout-out the channel, shout-out all the goons, shout-out the new uh, random uh, counter game store. It's a lot closer to my house, so, you know. Uh, I mean, everybody knows uh, who's helped me out with the deck, but I mean, that's it. All right, sounds good. So we only can get started then. Yes, sir. So <clears throat> the normal ratios, uh, two straddles, two mist, one and one. This is all the element of heroes. The, a lot of people are cutting mist to one. For me, the second one always come up in all my matches. So, I mean, it's just, for me, it's, it's just a needed and a vital piece to keep extending it to not yeah, run out of gas. Uh, the ratios for me, for the Vision Heroes, three, two, one. Uh, three fair is always two, two bonds. I know everyone is always saying that the arguments of like one and two for me, <clears throat> especially now with the combo and the deck, how the way I built it, if I draw it uh, and I open up Bion, I mean, it's not considered a brick because I'll just keep extending uh, with it. So for me, that's just the ratio that I like. Uh, the Destiny package, always two, one, one. I mean, uh, no need for explanation for there. Hand traps. Three Ash and three Droll. Um, they actually did come up almost in every one of my matches. Ashes for sure, you know. Uh, Drolls and some matches they they couldn't. They still made a board, but it wasn't as good because uh, like probably like half of my matches were Fire King. So this could actually be traded out for Nib. Uh, but I mean, it still did its thing in, in the end for me. Uh, for the spells, obviously three Hero Lives. Three FDs, uh, two poly. I've been telling everybody for like two years since like Burst of Destiny, two polys is the way to go. <clears throat> because a lot of people are actually getting smart and ashing or imperning the Vion. So with, uh, with the deck count that I have 40, I mean, and especially with a lot of search engine and, uh, and drawing, odds are we're going to be able to see it. Uh, two mass change, then the one ofs. Three droplet. Two talents, and then the one favor. Uh, deck count is 40 for the main deck. On to the extra deck. Uh, standard, two cross, the one divisor. Uh, a lot of people have been cutting the link three. This actually won me a match against uh, Striker, uh, or not Striker, uh, Horus uh, Horse Orcus. And just the, the piercing, uh, the piercing came insane, uh, and that won me the match. The one wonder driver, the two targets for mass change, uh, one and one. This uh, this is insane against the Centurion players because you hero lives going to straddles. If you have mass change uh, on resolution, uh, mass change target the straddles to summon this. So whenever they try to ex or not uh, synchro summon with the field spell, activate pay five hundred, bounce the field spell. And then you don't get VFD lock. How many matches did uh, Dark Law win you? Oh, like almost like everyone. <laughs> I mean, just like Dark Law is, it, depending on my hand, if I have liquid or if I have any variation to uh, to combo off, I just hear lips into, into miss. So that baits out an Ash, that baits out an Imperm, or that baits out the. And even if I get drilled, I mean, like odds are, like a lot of people just can't play Dark Law. And if, I mean, if they have the Imperm, they have it. That's one thing that I did say to myself is I'm gonna put everyone on better habit. Uh, I didn't second I didn't second guess my my convictions, my you know my plays. I went with my gut all the time. So uh, and that's why it actually helped me you know get eleven. Uh, the one F zero, <clears throat> the one sunrise, uh, and then the one uh, Aqua Neos. I'm not running Aqua Dolphin, but because you know with the with the wingman, you know if you make it with the vanilla, you just tribute this off. Uh, make this and then this is where uh, I bait out the nib because if not you know I'll just discard a card and pop a random card in my opponent's hand so if I get nibbed here it doesn't matter because because I by then I already set up my plays and you know and they'll just play into talents this is a new addition to the deck right there so what made you want to add that to the extra deck so I added this on since I think like about a year ago ever yeah. since he came out just the sec this the ability to just tag out any hero monster uh, for free is insane so 
I was thinking like <clears throat> for going first, what would be a good play just to get this off the field and summon something else? And then Aqua Neals, I just read the effect to just basically get tagged out and then just um, summon him because even when by by the time I make this, I have Wonder Driver and, and Aqua Neals. And then I have Poly reset, so I could still make the sunrise after that, but I'll still get the plus, uh, the plus one by popping a, a card in my opponent's hand, and also deck knowledge because if they have popped, you know, anything of a vital piece, if it's Fire King, you know, I'll know exactly how to play against it uh, further on in the match. Uh, the one DPE, <clears throat> the one big guy, wake up, and then Trinity. This was a last minute addition, and it actually won me two matches. Just because of the fact that it's a not activated applied effect so if i make this they can't sp because it just applies the the boost so usually they'll have sp and like two other monsters so i'll just beat over everything and then win it at that moment would you say that uh dpe was the mvp of the de the extra deck or, or honestly like i mean everyone did it uh did its thing uh uh in, in their moments uh, so I'm really glad that I went with this list and I went with like each specific monster in each specific uh, point so uh, there's not really one I, I would say Dark Law probably is like the most most MVP but every one of the monsters actually did their thing uh, now the MVP for the side deck card <clears throat> thrust god there were so many instances where I got drilled or ash or or whatever so I'm like okay let me thrust into whatever I need <clears throat> and I'll just keep going these actually never came up. These were my thrust targets, and I never saw them and never needed to. I, I opened evenly once, and then I just discarded it for the draw to uh, discard one for liquid because I just didn't need because I was going for a game. This was actually supposed to be Gozen match, so I actually switched it out, and I'm going to start playing the Dharma Cannon because uh, uh, going into battle phase when I guess the Fire King, whenever they summon. Uh, Whenever the Z Atlantis and everything like that, I'll just activate this to not die. So this is just basically a th another thrust target. So this would be a new addition. So just basically uh, cut the goes in. Three nib, two cyclones, <clears throat> two bells. My first round, it was insane. Uh, my, or my, yeah, my first matchup was against Lab. Uh, when I liquid soldier, I drew into Ash and Bell, and I'm like, God, yes. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's not resolving any of that. You were destined to top that event, right? Exactly. So this was the Gozen. So this actually did nothing. The rivalry came in clutch in my last matchup when I locked my opponent into Pyros, and I, I had DP, so I just kept popping everything. But the one time where I gave my opponent Dark Angel, they just sent it off the Dia Bull Star. So it's like this. Honestly, I'm thinking of just cutting this and just playing another spice tech that I, I can't reveal yet because uh, I'm going to Nats uh, but uh, so this is going to be cut and probably this is going to be cut and then I'm just going to have two flex spots for that okay is there is there any matchup that you don't like going up against <clears throat> or you think this deck can take on any deck of the format honestly it just depends on what uh, what my hand is because heroes has a lot of gas I mean so it's either we we either open godly and we're going to break through boards and kill or we break but it's like it also depends on the pilot because you can have a really good hand but you have to know how to play against your opponent and how to kind of counteract their plays and that's why i like to play a lot of different decks and kind of learn I, I, i'm not saying but i'm not a master at anyone but uh by just learning the combos and learning what the choke points are you can break through boards and otk and just bait out stuff from your opponents because there's been so many times in my matches where people just don't read and because heroes is not a meta deck by no means they forget about the dpe lore effect so i got nibbed like four times and i had dark law on field so they're just like okay so nib beat over dark law i'm like sure uh dpe you know uh you forgot to read so your monster is like at 200 attack because by then i have like 15 heroes and another important fact is that D uh, dpe is not hero monster it's hero card so if you have three hero lives, that's three cards. That's 600 uh, points less. And so most of the time they would just attack into the dark wall, take damage, and like, okay, let's go to game two. Because they would forget to read. <laughs> but right. yeah, I mean, like, hero's always best deck for me. And I'm just going to keep playing it, and uh, hopefully I can do good at Nats. Represent right. the hero community. Exactly. All right, Rudy, appreciate it. Thank you so much for the deck profile. Of course.